It's about time for the under 20 African Cup of Nations to be hosted by Egypt from the 19th of February to 11th of March 2023. A total of 12 teams will participate in this year's event, with countries like Nigeria, Senegal, Egypt, and Mozambique making up Group A. In Group B, we have Congo, Uganda, South Sudan, and Central African Republic. While in Group C, we have Tunisia, Benin, Zambia, and Gambia. After three games, the top two teams of each group will advance to the quarterfinals, along with two best third place teams. Nigeria Flying Eagles are the most successful team in this competition with a total of 7 trophies, followed by Ghana with 4 trophies who failed to qualify this time around. The Nigerian team is coached by Mr. Landon Bosso, who was actually the coach of the under 20 team from 2007 to 2009 when the Flying Eagles came second and third, respectively, at the under 20 Afghan. And it's been interesting to see how far Nigeria Flying Eagles can go in this competition. This tournament will also serve as the African qualifiers for the World Cup, as the top 4 teams will qualify to the 2020 to found 20 World Cup to be hosted in Indonesia. Out of 7 this tournament Nigeria has qualified for, we've only failed to make it out of the group twice. Though the last time we lifted the trophy was in 2015, in 2017 we didn't qualify, in 2019 we came fourth, and in 2021 we also did not qualify to the AFCON. The Flying Eagles of Nigeria will play their first group game on Sunday the 19th of February against Senegal, the second group game will be played against Egypt on Wednesday the 22nd of February, while the last group game will be played against Mozambique on Saturday the 25th of February, all be played at 6pm Nigerian time. The Flying Eagles have already played some warm-up games to prepare for this tournament, they defeated Zambia under 20 team 4 goals to 2, Congo by 2 goals to 1, and Kwaka Athletics under 23 team 6 goals to 1. These victories have boosted their confidence, but they know that this tournament games will be much tougher. So, our main objective for this competition should be to qualify to the World Cup. And for us to qualify to the World Cup, we have to get to the semi finals. And for us to get to the semi finals, we have to get, of course, out of the group. Like winning the group, becoming first or second in the group, or maybe the third best place teams across the three groups. Because there are 12 teams in this competition. After the group stage, we would have the quarterfinals straight. After quarterfinals, then semi-finals, which is automatic World Cup qualification. Then we can think about winning a record eight, you know, trophy by winning the competition at the finals. And yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. But I really hope they do well in this competition. Some scouts from international clubs around the world will be at this competition. So outstanding players will definitely get scouted and drafted into their teams. As a Nigerian, I'll be excited to see how far this team can go in this competition. Let's hope they make it out of the group and of course make it to the semi-finals which guarantee World Cup qualification. To stay updated about all Nigeria's game and this competition, kindly subscribe to this channel, turn on notification, or follow me on Instagram and Twitter at AdamolaVista.tv. How far do you think Nigeria will go in this competition? I'll let me know in the comments down below. Let's support the Flying Eagles all the way and let's hope they bring the trophy home for the record 8th time this time around. Thank you for watching and as always, have a good day guys.